Matt Bullock with us now. What's going on? Well, we have some wintry mix on the way tomorrow morning. A lot of rain. A lot, a lot of rain. Of rain. No snow, umbrella. though. Just some freezing rain, Good. some sleet. I like but that. But mostly rain. So we could see some slick road conditions tomorrow morning. Okay. So you might want to get an umbrella. You want to hear something ironic? What do you got? You know I'm a weatherman, and you don't I have don't an have an umbrella. umbrella. I don't. <laughs> ironic. <laughs> but if you take a You'll live look. You get one now. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting one now, I guarantee you. If you take a live look, this is US-19 and Glen Jean. We're staying dry as someone's getting pulled over. You see some blue flashing lights at the gas station, but we're seeing clear skies. Temperatures are upper 20s, 29 degrees in Oak Hill. Winds are very calm. Visibility is great. No fog in the area whatsoever, but temperatures are staying below freezing throughout southern West Virginia. Could say we're seeing some Ric Flair like temperatures because clap, clap. Woo! It's very cold. We're seeing temperatures in the negatives. Negative one degrees in Raynell, negative two in Oak Hill, while it's negative four degrees in Summersville, and negative three degrees in Athens. We do a wind chill advisory for almost all of West Virginia, minus Wyoming and McDowell County. We do have a wind chill warning for western parts of Greenbrier County, inches and in Beckley. And let me just tell you, the GFS model has been so inconsistent. I did like a little model track. On Monday, they're uh, predicting about 10 inches, and then it goes down to four, and then back down to eight. It's just been all over the place. It hasn't been that consistent. The European model is showing about, about three to four inches is possible. I kind of round up to four inches. And to be honest, I think the European has been the most consistent. It started at six, but then kind of trended more down to four inches and kind of just stayed at four to five inches. This area is about 40 miles an hour or even more. We'll keep an eye on you for that. We also have a winter weather advisory for most of southern West Virginia, except for Monroe, Tazewell, and McDowell County. But we do have a winter storm warning for western parts of Greenbrier County. This, for your morning's commute this morning, you might want to bring an umbrella. We are going to see some light rain showers. We're going to see some isolated showers till noon. But for your Valentine's Day forecast, I am loving this weather because love is in the air as we're having temperatures in the mid 50s, mostly cloudy skies, southwest winds at hitting storm. It probably won't affect our temperatures too much because this high pressure system down to our south is just dominating the southeast. So we'll be negative five degrees with the wind chill factor, probably around negative 15 degrees. So it's going to be very chilly, bundle up, definitely wear the extra layers, but we'll start to warm up very rapidly because by Monday morning, our morning lows are going to be in the 40s and maybe even by Wednesday morning in the 50s. But to survive for today, we're going to see extremely cold temperatures. So wear three layers. Make sure you have the gloves on. If you have pants, make sure you put two layers on. And good morning, Southern West Virginia. We're staying wet right now. A few moderate showers in parts of western parts of Greenbrier County. We'll continue to see scattered showers throughout today. Good morning, Southern West Virginia. Happy National Weather Persons Day by yours truly, Stormwatch Meteorologist Matt Boyd. Yes, it's a day. But yesterday was absolutely beautiful. We reached our high at 65 degrees, just 5 degrees from our record high. We could break some more records this week. We warm temperatures will stick around. This morning, it is very warm. 51 degrees in Beckley, 50 in Oak Hill and Hinton, and also in Welch. But we're seeing 49 degrees in Athens, Bluefield, and Richlands. We are tracking some scattered showers this morning. Very light all across southern West Virginia. Very light. We'll continue to see scattered showers this morning, and it will eventually turn to isolated showers this afternoon. This is what the extended future cast is looking like. We have a high pressure system off to our south. What this is doing is bringing nice south winds into southern West Virginia. So we're going to warm up into the upper 50s, maybe in the 60s today. We do have a cold front passing through the area, which explains why we're seeing scattered showers, but also has a warm front associated with it with another low pressure system to our west. And that low pressure system will eventually move to the east. So we'll continue to see scattered showers for Wednesday and Thursday, but by Friday, that low pressure system will move to the east, bringing more widespread scattered showers for southern West Virginia, but also bring colder temperatures because a high pressure system builds to our northwest and our winds will come from the north, which means we're going to see some temperatures going back down to upper 30s and low 40s for the weekend. But we're going to stay dry for the weekend. This is what the futurecast is showing for this morning. Lots of cloud coverage. Isolated to scattered showers, but we'll continue to see cloudy skies for southern West Virginia with a few little isolated showers. Nothing too much to worry about. Warm temperatures, low 60s, and Wednesday it's going to be kind of like the same scenario. Isolated showers to scattered showers. This is what the rain chance is for the next 48 hours. As you can tell, for whole day we have a good chance for isolated showers. 
a low chance for tonight, but back when we go back to Wednesday, the rain chances start to go back up to scatter to widespread showers by Wednesday night into Thursday morning. But for your hour by hour forecast for today, cloudy skies, a good chance for isolated showers. We're going to reach are high around the upper 50s. Even the 60s is possible. The winds are going to be quite calm for us, so nothing too much to worry about. Tonight, temperatures will stay warm in the upper 40s. Low 50s, showers are possible. The winds will start coming from the south, so we're going to continue to stay warm tonight. This is what your extended future cast is looking like. Warm temperatures, and we could break a record on Thursday. Now, the record is 68 degrees, and we're forecasting 72 degrees. The rain chances are pretty high for the next four days, but don't worry, we're going to dry out by Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures will be kind of cold, but we warm back up by Monday.